Hi, welcome to one of the Binders Keepers. This time I wanted to make my own RE curriculum, but I didn't want to do all the hard work myself. So I based it on the Islam Year 3 RE unit from Planet on Twinkle, added some other sheets and activities in there too, and of course put it in a binder. So if you want to have a look at it, keep watching. So here we have it, this is my booklet for um, covering Islam with my children and these are the activity books that I made to go along with the planet unit. Now if you just want a quick flip through and you don't want to hear me talk, which no I don't take any offence, I completely understand if that's the case, then skip to the end and I'll just do a quick flip through without me talking so that you can see what's inside. But if you do want to hear how I structured it, um, and how I kind of figured out what I was going to put in, then keep listening and I'll try and do it as quickly as possible. So I did on the back a quick, very quick plan that will help me because I wanted to make it a little bit more applicable to my home ed setting. So I've got the six sessions that say they suggest here. I've just put a visual to remind me of what those are. Now for us, one session might take 50 minutes and we sit on the sofa and have a chat after breakfast and that will be enough. Other times it might be two or three weeks that we spend um, on a topic. So this just gives us a freedom to dive deeply into things that we need to and to have a bit more of a gentle pace when I want. So yeah, these are the six sessions, the topics, and then here I just put some nods of what we'll do together. So this probably would just take a short time together, like I said, just sat on the sofa, um, chatting through things and doing a little activity in here. And then here I've put some additional things that either my children might want to just do independently um, for a fun activity to just encourage an enthusiasm and let my children engage with topics in a fun way, I think is a really powerful and simple way of getting them to appreciate and enjoy other cultures. Um, but then there's also things like visiting a mosque that we've got planned that will obviously take us a little bit deeper into a topic. So yeah, these are the kind of, I would say extra, but actually I think they'll be really important for us to cover, but we might not cover them at the same time as doing these activities here. Does that make sense? So I started, same front cover, but this is for my children to colour in themselves when they're listening to me throughout each of the sessions. When I'm reading aloud, they can do some colouring in. And then I started my booklet with a knowledge organiser. And then I found this great, I suppose almost like a knowledge organiser as well. You could make it into a little booklet. I just put it here at the front. They are posters, but I shrunk them down so that my kids can see in a much simpler way some of the core beliefs of being a Muslim and what that means. So, yep, I added that at the front for us to refer to and talk about as we go through the session. So the first PowerPoint... I just printed off, only printed off the pages that I felt were relevant for um, either helping me to know what to say or for guiding some discussion. So we've got this just to chat about religions and things that we're familiar with, symbols we, that we might have seen around about, um, and just talk about generally questions that we have for this topic. And then we've got here some information on the slide and then we're going to link it a little bit to geography so we're going to find a map and then this is their activity to do now one of the reasons that i did this is because we've been talking about a lot of events recent events that have been happening in the middle east and so this will be a good way for them to understand that a little bit more and an opportunity to chat further so while this could be a really quick activity of just finding out which flag matches which country it also is a great opportunity for discussion and that's kind of how I've structured a lot of the activities in this is that it could be something very simple maybe my younger daughter does a simple activity of cutting and then we find together and stick the flags in the right place but my older son we might dive a little bit deeper into talking about um, Palestine and Israel or Afghanistan and things that we've been talking about and reading about because of current affairs. 
so that will be the first session i pop this in so that if they want to they can independently do their own collage or make some kind of craft with the crescent moon and the star next session would be talking about the five pillars of islam so instead of using the activities in the planet, I found one that I felt was just a bit more age appropriate for my children. So we're going to read through. This is mine again. So I will read this through with them. And then as I'm doing that, they can be colouring in and we can be reading some of this or my son can be reading this out for us as well. So I just basically look to see what the activities were suggested in the planet. And if I didn't think that they were appropriate, I just did a very quick twinkle search for activities that I thought would suit my family more. And then I put in and stick in activity here. And I put in here as well because we will be talking about prayer. This again is something that they could do on their own. This might be an activity that we maybe just like take this booklet to the library and as we're choosing books, they could also sit and do some colouring in as well. And then we look into worship and the mosque. So this again, just the sheets, the pages from the PowerPoint that I thought were relevant. And then I added some more in as well. So I added lots of pictures in that we can talk about, that we can think of what questions we have. We might just think of a question, stick it on a post-it note. And then when we go and do our visit, we can take this with us and it will be a good reference for us. And then here they've got, again, a sheet that they could use as a basis of craft or just colour it in if they want and then we're on to celebration so we've got some questions to talk about together and then I picked a slide for each of the main festivals to talk about and then what I did is I added in this ebook from Twinkle and I just printed off the PDF just because I wanted everything in one place. I didn't want to have to worry about whether the tablet is charged and I needed to get that out from somewhere else. I just want to be able to pick this up, snuggle on the sofa with my kids and read together. So this is one of the ebooks that is going to help contextualize some of that information about festivals. They've got a follow up activity here of sequencing the pictures onto there. So simple, but hopefully lots of discussion and talking, discussion and talking the same thing, <laughs> lots of discussion about the story as well. And then the extra activity that they could just do themselves if they wanted to, or on a rainy afternoon, we could make a lantern together. So next is looking at the Quran. And I kept it really simple this time. So lots of talking together i've got some video clips that we'll probably go through together and then i just want them to write a sentence underneath and then we're going to talk a little bit about islamic art now this was an extra thing that i wanted to do in the planet they just talk a little bit about the symbols of islam but i wanted to dive a little bit a little bit deeper into islamic art and one thing that i never realized about twinkle until recently was how many dual language resources they have and I think that's really powerful because I wanted them to experience and be able to see different languages um, alongside just as kind of exposure. So this is slightly older for my children but we can read it together and see what we can get out of something I know they're particularly interested in so then we've got a pattern for them to do and then I just popped in a few extra things at the end for us to do whenever we fancied and then on the back you have a vocabulary page for them that because it's on the back they can just quickly refer to and we can check as we go along so there we have it we've got the teacher's guide the activity books and i've tried to make sure that there are activities that are varied that promote lots of discussion that use different skills that um, allow a more gentle pace for my kids. I didn't want lots of writing because that's not what the point of this is. We're wanting to just learn about Islam and about what our friends believe so that we can be more no knowledgeable and understanding and appreciate and um, also just ask and answer some, well, probably not answer, but ask some big questions about the world around us and talk about what those answers might be. So I'm not, I purposely didn't choose things that were too worksheety but obviously it is still in a format that's very easy and accessible for us to just grab down when we've got the chance to do it. 
Anyway, quick flip through now if you want to just see very quickly what's inside it again. And then I'll be saying goodbye. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it's been interesting. And if you have any questions, then comment below or send me a message and I can tell you um, more specifically what's in here.